Welcome to all of you who are watching Rogue Kitchen. Uh, we are coming to you live from the Hospitality Learning Center where education is our business, fun is our passion. So thank you so much for being here. President Davidson is coming to you today from the spicy corner of the kitchen. I'm coming to you from the baking corner. Uh, in today's competition, one of these two women has no idea how to cook. And so we're gonna see how that pans out with our professional tasters. These are people who just hang around the building and eat. That one's good. What did you say? Oh, I was just joking on the pans out. I thought you were trying to make a pun. Jason makes a lot of puns, and so I thought, try, thought you were trying to fill his role here. Hopefully he's on here making comments too. This isn't a timed competition. We're not gonna be going head to head, toe to toe completely. But uh, we're gonna start with uh, President Davidson over here with your holiday toffee. That's right. Um, which I've had a preview of. It looks quite delicious, so. It is quite delicious, it's um, quite popular. Why don't you walk us through what that looks like? Right, well, first of all, thanks for the invitation. You know, I love coming over here and eating. Um, First of all, then I also like to come over here and try to cook. Um, so I have a, it's an, an award-winning recipe uh, of the, my holiday coffee. It's actually super easy to make. Um, I was quite surprised at how easy it was. It's super easy and it's a huge crowd pleaser. Now I'm just gonna caveat by saying this ain't my kitchen. I don't know half of this stuff in here, but uh, maybe it'll turn out. So here's how it works. I mean, I'm telling you, it is super easy. So first of all, I do, I get my stuff all ready. So I got the walnuts all ready. And no spoons, I'm just gonna dump this in here. Making a mess. I'm making a mess, but that's all right. Half cup of sliced almonds. Right, I'm just gonna dump this in here so it's ready. And then a full cup, yeah, it's a big mess, look at that. Just throw um, on the floor. Are you here to heckle? No, not at all. Because you got a heckling I, hat on. I um, I oh, wanted oh. to share with our audience that it takes one gallon of water for each almond. So yeah, while this so may bummer. be a delicious recipe, it may not be the most. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Julia. I have a bummer. Julia. Now, now, what kind of brown sugar is that? This is light brown sugar, which is what I use. Um, I don't want the environmental warning, although it is probably true, to deter people from the occasional indulgence in toffee. I mean, really, y'all shouldn't be eating it every day anyway. Touche. I was gonna say, you shouldn't be having toffee for dessert every day or breakfast every day. Either. All right, so you gotta pack it on in there. Where's the camera? Right there, is that the camera? Yep, right here. Pack it on in there. Okay, so now everything's ready and um, my little uh, walnuts are already chopped up, but if you, now, how did you don't you have one those? of these gizmos, uh, you have one of these? I don't. Of course you don't, because you're like a real chef, whereas <laughs> I'm just like the easy kitchen person that has to go. I feel like we're on QVC. Super easy. Um, okay, so two sticks of butter, and it's basic salted butter. Now, and is there a particular brand that's your favorite? No. Nope. Now, I'm not so keen on this electric jobber, so just so you know, I'm just gonna put it on medium high. You just passed medium was perfect earlier. Just past medium, <laughs> do what I need. Okay. Now, so you take the wrapper off? I take the wrapper off, oh, just fair enough. the pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you though, there's something, and maybe, um, Jimmy, you can tell me what's going on here. Every once in a while when I make this, it doesn't work. Yeah? Well, what happens? I don't know. It doesn't get to hard crack. It just starts to bubble. It's almost like I, my theory is that somehow there's some water in the pan. So or... that can be the quality of the butter as well. Because if you have a low quality butter, they'll emulsify water into it. And so Land Lakes is pretty good. Um, I prefer Kerrygold. Okay. Uh, but Land of Lakes was on sale. Harry so. Gold is the Irish one, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what my husband uses for his, when he does the um, steak. It's the best. And it's so don't we want to ask Harry Gold to send us 100 pounds of butter? Yeah. Can you please send us some, yeah, anything? Well, and, and so as Jason and I have always stated, we get a lot of, for, of stuff from Costco for our houses. And yeah. so Costco, if you're out there watching us for some reason, you wanna, just saying, 
I like to like break up the butter just so it melts easier. You know, you gotta be a little bit patient. Now, did you need some Cairo syrup? No, I don't need any help from you, dear. <laughs> Dean, hard agree. Well, if you put cranberries in there, it'd be festive. <laughs> Here, how about a cup of water? <laughs> a cup of water. Uh, so Dr. Simpkins spied a uh, prepackaged baking mix on uh, Dean Hardigree's table over here. Yep, it's something weird going on over yeah. here. And then you just sit and stir it for a bit. In case you're wondering what's in toffee, it's everything that's good for you. So you melt butter the butter. Butter and sugar. You melt the butter first or did you put the sugar I in? I put there? it all in at the same okay. time. Right. How'd you do it? I put it all in the same time. I just yeah. didn't see you do the sugar. I put either. it all in the same time, and I just like to sit here and watch it and stir it a lot. That's the way. You know what they say about a watched do, do, pot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know. It never boils. Luckily, I don't need it to boil. I do love the smell of the butter too, as it's as it's simmering. Yeah. I just love butter. The whole thing. It's like. Okay, so here's the other trick of the trade. You got to have yourself a really good candy thermometer. Now, I used to have a really good candy thermometer, and I was going to make like six batches of this last weekend, and my candy thermometer broke. Oh, no. Did it explode? No, it just wasn't moving. It wasn't uh -huh. doing anything. And I was like, oh, no, right? So I've got this pot going, and I thought, well, I've made this stuff enough times. I know what hard crack looks like. Turns out I didn't. <laughs> Well, I you, thought I did, but I didn't. And so, like, the, the, the soft crack to the hard crack, definitely, I don't know if there's a visual difference. Uh, there's a, it's a I was little watching, bit. I was watching the temperature come up on that candy thermometer, and it looked exactly the same for the last uh -huh. three to four minutes. That's the point. But, then, take, but then it all of a sudden hit that 300 boom, degrees. And, then, and you're like, done. Yep. Right. Then you got to pull it quick. So what happens is it starts to get bubbly, and it always worries me. I'm like, oh, no, this is going to be a failed batch. And then it'll start to come together. It's starting to do. Can you see that? You can't see it though, right? Camera? No, we can kind of, if you want to tilt so a little can, bit. Well, you want to see what it looks like here, right? Because it starts to get like this, right? And then as it starts to kind of get a little, what's the word? It kind of emulsifies. It kind of gets, yeah, it starts to Because the pull, butter is separate at yeah, first. It starts to pull together. Then I put the candy thermometer in. This is not my best candy thermometer. It's just all they had at the King's Soup. And so I'm putting that on this pot here. The King's Soup is also known as the K. Roger. We call it the soup. And then you guys have one, so I'm going to try yours because I'm always up for trying something new. This is a fancy schmancy jobber that has a, it beeps apparently when it gets to the right part. It's like a Fitbit. It's a little loose on there. I'm, I, I I'm not so, a fan of how it sits I'm on there. I'm not so happy about it. Okay, so in any event, <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. If you, if you slide it over steps. to the handle, it works. It'll. If stay. I do what? Slide by the handle. Yeah. There we go. You know. Pro tip. Of all years for my candy thermometer to break. It says you've done 200 steps. No, it says it's 233 Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh. So hard crack is 300. 300 degrees. Yep. So now look at it. You can't get the camera on this, can you? Oh, Nelly. See how it gets funky? Funky. This is the funky stage. See how it kind of starts to pull together? Don't, don't keep... It looks like foam. I know. It looks foamy. And don't put it on high because it, it, it's too fast. It ain't right. Yeah, you can actually burn it. it it'll yeah. pass that stage and it'll start to... I've it'll caramelize too much. Right. And I've, I've experimented and I've noticed that doing it a little slower actually helps with the texture. Ow, the texture. So let's see, this one is at, I don't know, two, see this lame King Super <laughs> version is at about 255, this is 245, wait, maybe it's. By no means do we mean any, any disrespect to the K. Roger King Super Super Gooper 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 Group. That's right. You like this kind of thing? I never use, I use a wooden spoon usually. Yeah, I'm always afraid these we don't keep melt. wooden spoons in here too much because they don't melt, do they? No, they don't. They're good but up the to 500 spoons degrees. The catch on fire. 500 degrees. The wooden spoons catch on fire? No, it's just things can get inside of them if they're cracked and bacteria um, can stay in there. Wooden spoons have caught on fire at my house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. I do have a wooden spoon that is burnt on the edges. Yeah. Uh, just because I use it so much for making gumbo. 
Because the, the, the roux gets so hot and you're sitting there and yeah. just like it's black on okay, the so edge. So now it's getting, it's still foamy, but you're right. Like, so if I didn't have the thermometer, I'd be like, oh, it's getting close. It's getting close to that hard crack. It really starts to pull away from the sides of the pan, right? It'll, and then what happens as it gets up to that hard crack stage, everything happens very quickly after that. So you're, Ooga, you're, 260. So you're, you're against the wooden spoon. Uh, I mean, saying? I personally use wooden spoons at home, but in most professional kitchens, you, you have the bacteria. Yeah, yeah, as long as you keep them nice and clean and yeah. don't put them through the dishwasher because then they'll dry and crack. So this this keep them this oiled. baby goes to 500 degrees. Yeah, so I yep. don't have to worry. Yeah, the okay. silicone's good up to 500 degrees. Okay. And if you get your toffee up to 500 degrees, I'm a little worried about the pan. So the the um, yeah, right <laughs> the, the candy thermometer I usually use looks like this. You can see that in the Giant. See how awesome that is? is? That not an awesome candy thermometer right there? Now I, I saw in your directions that you actually use the candy thermometer to stir it. I too. use it, and then I only have to have one thing. In that's there. that's genius. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, that coming for you, that means something to me. Uh, yeah, you don't have all this stuff happening. You just like use the candy thermometer. Maybe that's why it broke. Although I made a lot of batches with that candy thermometer. All right. One year it's I be gave everybody closer. candy thermometer. Get one from me? I don't think I was here at that year. Oh, sorry, honey. So, a question for you. Yes. Where did this recipe come from? Oh, this recipe came from a former sister-in-law of mine. Huh. Yeah, she used to make this toffee every year, and it was so good. Now I'm kind of known for it, but it's definitely Diane's. Ah. Well, Diane's thank you, Diane, coffee. out there for passing it along. Yeah, right. Have you uh, ever made any modifications, changed the nuts up? The different um, chocolate? Yeah, this year I put pecans on top instead of walnuts. Ah, I prefer oh, pecans. Crazy. I kind of like it better. Um, I like pecans because I kind of have that sweetness, like a natural sweetness mm -hmm. to it. They're not actually sweet, but they like, yeah. I don't know, they remind me of pecan pie, obviously. Also, <laughs> I often use, like I'll, I'll use a heart. Uh, this year I made it all with dark chocolate. And, and the milk chocolate melts easier, but the dark, I, I'm a dark chocolate fan. I've tried it by putting a little clue in there before. It doesn't really come out much in the taste, so it's like, why bother? Yeah, yeah. Figure it's so you gonna... just drink it. Instead. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's just a accompaniment. You still the... have it around. Okay, stuff's happening here. No, it's still at 259. This one's at, this one's at 300. Dude, this isn't working. All right. You trust this one? It worked for me earlier. This one says. Now, here's the thing, though. This is one's it, above 300 Is now. it touching the bottom? Because the bottom will be hotter than the toffee itself. I know, itself. I know. See what happens is the heat's coming from the bottom. Big steer. <laughs> so technically, it's actually coming from all around because it's an induction burner. It just... So as the pot heats up itself... I'm pretty sure you itself, have to work this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not... Oh my, it's 276. 285! Oh, there we go. Oh my god! All right. All right. 297. We got a there, right? Okay, so this well, is when it all happens really yeah. quick. So everybody pay attention. Here we go. You pour, the, you pour this stuff in here really quick. You stir it like crazy. Is that how you did it? That is. Stir it like crazy. No, I was a little confused because I wasn't like sure where the chopped walnuts go. And then you go, Whoa. You have to okay. make the noise? Yeah, always. And then I kind of like roll it around in the pan to get it skinny. Because yeah, you don't want it too thick. You no, you don't want it thick. And sometimes I make it too thick. It's just, it is what it is. You kind of know how big Support a Support your local dentist. Yep, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Although people do like it that way too. It's really hard to not like it anyway, basically. You weren't sure about the chocolate? Well, so I- Or the nuts. Not to call you out or anything, but okay. I didn't see in the now, recipe where the walnuts go. I got seven ounces of this, right? Well, well you might have less, Jimmy was in there. This is good. So There's now, a little while, over seven. While it's still smoking hot here, you start putting these on. Stir on top. Is that how you did it? You don't make smiley faces? Yeah. Somebody kind of needs like a butter knife or a little... Uh, so I used the spatula. You did? Something metal. The candy thermometer. All this has to happen really fast because it's hot. I could know. Now, it does stay hot for a while. It does. It's true. Now, Incidentally, if Hershey's would like to send us 100 pounds of Hershey's, 
yep. we would be happy to take that as yeah, well. Very good point. Another word of warning. As you're putting these on, don't try to place them too, like get your fingers too close to it. Because you get Because it's 300 degrees and it'll hurt. <laughs> is that coming from... Uh, that um, from yeah, experience I worked there? at a restaurant where we used to do spun sugar and that's, Isn't that a fancy version of cotton candy? Kind of. Yeah. It, I mean, you just bring uh, sugar up to a, uh, it's called a thread on there. You'll see it on there. Um, and then you actually kind of flick it across a parchment paper yeah. and it looks like thread, um, like, like a spider web almost. And I may or may not have gotten some of that on you my know, hand. It's a total um, job hazard of Jeff is that you get burned all the time. I got extras here. This is so thin. I use the big. I use the big bars, and they're thicker. Yeah, you know, King Supers was out. <laughs> you know, uh, I really feel like there's a lot of King Super poor bashing King going Supers around here. King Supers is not shining. That supply chain Although issue. Although I will I mean. say that the King Super thermometer was doing better than the fancy schmancy. I think so. Chef, I think okay, so. that's about it. So you just use this jobber, right? Okay, we'll do that. So now you see how fast it melts. Oh, it's lovely. Again, with the sound effects, they're essential. Brought to you by Metropolitan State <laughs> University of Denver. So no one's got a butter knife. I'll just see. I'm, I'm doing this in all my non-standard ways. Okay, this is working. I'm learning new ways. Butter knife. Okay, frisk her before she leaves. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't steal. Here you are. I'm, I'm, I'm on it now. Here. <laughs> now, at what point do you start licking way? utensils? Oh, that's a good question. It does happen. But, you know. Well, I'm glad you gave me some. <laughs> so there we go. We get it all covered up. Chocolate on top. And you try to make sure it's all spread out evenly. Robbers are, are melted. It is hard. It's <laughs> difficult. Get, get, get it right over, over there. Little spot right there. I'm going on my comment card. <laughs> and, and then Christian can get, can get going on her holiday trip. Did you costume change over no, there? Not at all. Yeah. What what happened there? You want me to bring it over here? I, I yeah. If we could just get out. in front of this camera, we have which camera? This one right here. This one? Yeah. Right here? Put it in the loser's corner over there. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, oh my God. This, <laughs> sister. That's early. <laughs> but don't you worry, because we are in it to win it. First of all, Rowdy is here to keep me company, as well as the pineapple, international symbol of hospitality. Now, I originally was going to be making my grandmother's recipe, but President Davidson, being the box cooking snob that she is, said no boxes. So the boxes are out. Never fear, I have another grandmother. So what we're making today is a white chocolate cheesecake with a raspberry swirl and an Oreo cookie crust. Now, there are a couple of things that are really, really important here. First of all, it is virtually impossible to find already made um, Oreo crust crumbles, like the Oreo cookie part. Um, so what I would strongly suggest if you're gonna make this is that you go out and get yourself a family size of Oreos, okay? So you're gonna open that up. Why family size? Well, if you only get the, the regular size, it's not gonna be enough in order to make your crust. So- Is that because the kids will eat half of them first? Well, I, I will say I defend off some people in my office. Um, <laughs> So you're gonna open it. One side should come clean. You put that in the bowl. And then you eat the icing out of the other side. And put that in the bowl. So you'll have to do this about 60 times. So again, I'll demonstrate for you. One side will come off pretty clean. We'll get that in the bowl. The other side, you won't have to eat. It seems like an incredibly inefficient use of time. Wait a minute, are you not putting those things in the bowl, are you? After you eat on it. <laughs> Look who's suddenly into sanitation and safety. <laughs> You're saying that you don't like that? You don't approve? Or, I, I mean, maybe if it weren't a global pandemic, I'd feel a little bit. Since everyone's a critic, 
I will use a pre-made Oreo cookie crust. Now, you can find these at your local King Super because they pull through for me, unlike other individuals. Um, they're over here. Don't eat the ones in the bowl. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, don't won't eat the ones in the bowl. <laughs> Maybe don't keep her quiet. All right. They're not so. even open. Oh my God, Can I you open not it? know how to open these things? No. Oh, the little teddy. Oh, it's already open. Who doesn't love an Oreo? Where do you think that those came from? I was kind of curious. I thought you had another bag there. I was cleaning up my space while you were in the we have a pre-made crust because somebody doesn't want me licking all of the Oreos. Fine. Now, cheesecake, you can typically go get two bars of, of cream cheese. I've done a little different. I've got Nufa Shell. And let me tell you why. Kroger Man. Nufa Shell has one third the amount of fat. Now, for those of you who enjoy math, there's a thing called the transitive property. A equals B, A equals C, and A equals C. So if I get Nufa shell and it's a third less fat, then that means that when I cut a piece to eat, I can make it a third larger. So it's just a win-win all the way around. It's very similar to- Excuse me. I have a whole, my philosophy on dessert is that if you're gonna go third less fat and un no sugar, then why bother? I mean, chef- I agree. I mean, less oh, fat doesn't sorry. isn't gonna cook different? I mean, but, isn't there like chemistry involved here? The, the, yeah, I mean, That's me. also like, part of, like a half of the amount of fat in a recipe. Also, things that are reduced fat, they put other things in there. Exactly. Nufa shell is a type of cheese. This is not reduced <laughs> fat cream cheese. It's a type of cheese. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So it's less fat than cream cheese. Yes, but it's not reduced All fat right. cream cheese. All right. Is okay. a distinction? Fair enough. All right. Fair, enough. fair enough. Good call. Good call. Good call. As long as it yeah. tastes okay, I'm good with it. I just you know like this chocolate. like genetically altered low fat stuff. Oh no, it's not that. No, no. No. Wow. Okay. So, um, similar to how chocolate, right? Chocolate is from the cacao tree, uh, and that's a plant, and that means chocolate is salad. So it works for everybody. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring. That's two a really good point. I think that's a very important point. I think that's actually what we sell in degree restaurants. So if you are here in the hospitality learning center. Please stop by the restaurant and ask for the chocolate salad. Because, you know, everybody should have one. Ooh, I'm in on chocolate salad. Ready? Yeah. So what we're going to do, you're going to take a couple of Nufa shells. You're going to let them come up to room temperature. You're going to stick those bad boys in a bowl. Whee! Not one. What we're going to do here is epically awesome. You'll notice that I have this giant, I don't know, Jack Hawk 3000 KitchenAid. Jack Hawk. Jack Hawk. Is that what I don't, called? I, no. I don't know. So. <laughs> um, but much like President Davidson, I have no idea how to use 90% of the equipment in this kitchen. So we're just, we're just working with it. We have that in common oh, for sure. All right. So let's talk about the fridge part of this. That's oh, all right. We, yeah. So at this point, you got your two Nufa shells in your bowl. You're gonna put in half a cup of sugar. Whee! And approximately a tablespoon, or half a, excuse me, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Not the fake stuff, the real stuff. I don't actually know where the teaspoons are kept, so I'm just going to. Now, I should be putting this uh, concoction in this, but again, I have no clue how to operate that. So I, <coughs> being industrious. Oh, this thing looks familiar. It does. Hmm. You know why? Because I can put it. <laughs> kind of like I'm going to oh, do a so present school. Person. Right. Old school. In honor of President Davidson. Did you bring that from your house? I did. Because they don't have one of these in, that, in the kitchen. No. That's not yours, Jim, right? No, no. I mean, you wouldn't be caught dead using that. People would make fun of no. them. No. <laughs> I believe it was a Black Friday sale. I think it was $15. I think it's been 25 I have the years exact since I've used same one. one. <laughs> Which is why I asked for a KitchenAid from Santa Claus this year. Oh, did you? Yeah. Go and got one. Go and bit. Mm hmm. Wow. Santa think, brings me a variety of wine. Right I did. Did I show you? I, I oh, got? yeah, with the, the cobalt blue, right? It was super on sale at Best Buy. Nice. Uh huh, and it's the lifted bowl. Like the bowl lift bucks. is key. Seriously. 
So if you hold Although, it right, to it be fair, Christian can lift this bowl too. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like like one of those things you rode as a kid, right? You make it go both directions. Only in Australia, so you can make it go the other way. <laughs> Look at that. So now we're going to move on. We need two eggs. One. Oops. Very excited about my eggs. And we're going to throw these bad boys into our concoction. Now, this is a good opportunity to blend this up. I want to blend it up well. Now, this is where salmonella can be a real problem, right? You never want to eat something that has raw egg in it. Um, unless you're me, because I, my favorite thing on the planet on my birthday is to make my own cake, and I make it twice the recipe so that I can lick a good chunk of it out of the bowl. So, we're going to whip it, whip it good. So far, all you got in there is that newfangled fake cream cheese and um, eggs. You know, the people of Newfishell would be very disappointed to have you believe that it's new, newfangled. Now. Okay, so I'm not a pro at this. Is Newfishell a place? No, I made that up. Oh. Why do you believe anything I, I, I say? Well, I mean, you're, you're my boss. I don't. I want to not Here, like here's to a know boss. the derivation of the Newfishell. I'm pretty sure it's from the the hilly region of the Newfishell. Honest, I, I don't know. know. I, I'm gonna look, I'm yeah, gonna ask we, Mr. Google yeah, right I think, here. I think we didn't know about that. Hang on, I'll figure it out. While People you... are screwing up my recipe. It's <laughs> Neufchatel. I didn't say I said it right either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft, slightly crumbly, mold ripened cheese made in the Neufchatel in Bray, French region oh, of maybe. Normandy. I'm so excited. One of the oldest kinds of cheese in France. Its production is believed to date back to the 6th century, as it does your recipe, probably. Well, and it's taking about six or centuries at least, to make it. Or at least maybe that blender jobber thingy. I, for thingy. You know what? Uh, you have the same one. You I mean, and I shot the same I didn't right say it was an old. Mine literally was my grandmother's. <laughs> White chocolate chips. No, I'm trying to get him to make a cocktail. Uh, that's uh, what I'm doing. Um, this is this is your white that, chocolate chips. It looks like you're. Oh, you need that like over there. You got a uh, margarita happening. That is actually a Southwest eggnog in honor of the high desert in which we live. Fair enough. So, um, which is technically a margarita. So, typically you would put um, about uh, two thirds of a cup of white chocolate. I went with the Ghirardelli. Um, I don't have a two-third cuppy thing. I have a quarter cuppy thing. So I'm just gonna... I have a third cuppy thing. Oh my God, it's not that important. Not that I want to help the competition or anything, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and we're gonna have to melt these down. Now, what I find is really helpful as you're trying to melt them down is if you just eat some. I don't want you to feel bad, but the president's no. setup had everything I needed. <laughs> well, well, no, no, to borrow no. That. Now, Christian, don't tell me you're going to melt those in your mouth and then put them in. I might. Is this like the Oreos? It could happen. Other thing that you need is some red raspberry preserves. Did you just shake? I'm hearing, I'm hearing I'm the hearing the shaker. shaker. <laughs> My favorite sound. Do you think it's bad that there's a Pavlovian response when I hear that sound? Maybe, maybe not. It just is. It just is. So, I'm going to have to melt this down. I'm gonna ask my handy dandy assistant who gave President Davidson all of the accoutrement that she needed and who left me with a spoon and a fire extension. She didn't even have the one third cupper. I didn't have the one third cupper. Well, Chef Mike over there is about to help out too, so. What do you okay. need? I gotta flip this back up. They're bringing my, my uh, melted. Oh, you got an assistant. I, I, think that's a, I think that's a point downgrade. She has an assistant. Whee. Whee. So, you're going to melt down those white chocolate morsels of wonderfulness, and you're going to pour those bad boys in here. Technically, you're supposed to fold them in here, but come on, who has time for that? Not to mention, uh, folding reminds me of laundry. I hate laundry, therefore, no fold. So, 
We will, however, now the other thing is you, you, you also get to lick this container too. <laughs> so those are the white chocolate chips. Those are the white chocolate chips. All melted down. All yummy. Yes, you can lick that. And here. Now, if you want to make this better and eat it and not cook it, you can buy pasteurized eggs. If you want. Just saying. Why would you need that? If you just want cheesecake batter. <laughs> All right. So a lot of people will run their, their blender just one more or their mix master just another second. I find that it's really much more efficient. Like one. Look up. Yeah. That does not suck. Pretty good. What? So we folded those bad boys in, sort of. Again, you can fold if you want to. I call it stirring. You can fold if What's you want the to. Isn't folding just gentle stirring? Or is there some sort of like, I think you're supposed to be like, <laughs> yeah, some sort of sneaky technique. So Wei has a question. Is, is jobber a technical term? Yeah. What, define, define jobber. No, it's, it's a generic term that is quite handy to use whenever you don't know what something's called. For anything, and then, yeah. Yeah, I go with doohickey. Okay. Ah, a doohickey. Jobber's better. I don't know how to spell doohickey. <laughs> Who asked that question, Wei? Yeah, Wei. All right, way to go. <laughs> that's mine that is All right. pretty, that's pretty good man and so here is Ooh. a cooked version pretty. I believe now what we need to do is take your Christmas coffee and this and plate these so that our wonderful tasters who have volunteered to judge the competition here's the true competition part alright now Christian your oven was preheated my oven was preheated 350 degrees. You had your mise en place. 35. All things were equal. I on the camera. 35 minutes. In which case, if I don't find my phone and turn it on, who knows what's going to happen. So um, am I on the camera here? I have to show the last bit of this. One second. So this has been in the fridge for quite some time. Actually, it's, I think it needs to be in the fridge a little bit longer. How long has this one been in the fridge? Uh, for a couple of hours. Yeah, it's not it's falling apart a little bit. I brought some. See, look, it's not the, this is what happens if it's not in the fridge long enough. The chocolate separates from the toffee. Uh. See, but not to fear, because look, I have a whole other bat. All right, what are we doing here? Plate some of yours up, I'll plate some of mine up, and we'll get some people to come over and do some tasting. Apparently we're plating in the wrong place. Apparently, yeah, we are. Where would you like for us to move, sir? Cameras at this location? There's no light at this location. All right, all right. Whatever you guys want. Go. Now, please remember, since this is Nufa shell, I can make the slices much larger. We're having a ear cocktail. My cocktail's over there, too. There you go. Thank you very much. Because really, I don't know that it matters who wins as long as we have cocktails. As long as, as, long as we have cocktails. <clears throat> as long as we can taste desserts. We have lots of tasters here. Lots of tasters. It's amazing who shows up in this building when there's food out. <laughs> that is a good looking cheesecake. Why, thank you. You know, so it's made with make. cheese that's the oldest cheese of France from the 6th century. 6th century. Neufchâtel, which I'm pretty sure I'm saying wrong. Neufchâtel. Okay, somebody who knows French, I only took five years of it. I've never taken any. Which I haven't spoken in. Somebody online can. Well, someone online, it. tell us what we're, what, what's, how to pronounce it. Somebody open Google or Siri. 
that one I cut wrong. We're just gonna let that one go to the side. The other good thing about cooking is any of the errors you just eat and there's no evidence of them. <laughs> Meantime, I have spilled Oreo cookie crumb all over the countertop. All right. But aren't the elves supposed to clean up the kitchen? I believe so, because I think we're supposed to sit and drink. <laughs> oh, what now, Jimmy? All right. All right. Let's. Uh, we need to stand back while the judges one. judge. Yeah, step aside. Let the judges judge. Step aside. Let's have our. Back judges. to your corners. Back to your corners. Over in the spicy side, President Davidson. That's me. On the side with all of the wisps. <laughs> all right. Let's start with our work study student, Val. Do you want to come up? Pick one of each. So wait a second. You have to introduce yourself and. And explain to, to explain to us why you're qualified to to be a judge. <laughs> well, no, wait, wait, that's not the right attitude. <laughs> okay. What's your major? Criminal justice. And you're a work study student, and you like to bake. All right. I think you're qualified. Do you think she's qualified? I think she's totally qualified. All right. All right. We might want to give her a fork. So yeah. One of these and one of these? Take one yep, of each. one of each. Or you can eat one of each while you're standing there. No, just yeah, eat. tell us. <laughs> you take a bite and. Are and you kidding? There are dozens of people watching. You need to take a bite and tell us your perception. Really Maybe four. It's my mom and her bridge club. It is. Uh oh. I will repeat it in case the microphone didn't pick it up. She said this is really good. <laughs> Just want to make sure we know. And then this one? Yeah, yeah. Not like that! No, sorry. <laughs> you don't have a nut allergy, do you? You probably should ask that first. We can hear the crunching. It's really crunchy. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like... I can't identify all the flavors individually, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's good. Do I have to choose? Uh, why don't you hold off on your opinion? Yep. And let's get everybody else in you, here. You can, you can, you can take both of them. and eat it all up. Right. And next, at the judging table, we have our academic advisor, Maddie Wright. Yay! See, this is really scary because I am still new to the university, so I need both these ladies on my side. <laughs> so picking one makes me nervous. Oh, I forgot. We I need more fork. forks. Oh, of course. We need like a bunch of Yeah, there's a hand. Whoa. Mm. That's very creamy. I wasn't expecting the cream. It's the cheese. It's, it's the cheese. cheese. Did you know that that's from the 6th <laughs> century in France? <laughs> that's very good. And one of these guys. I'm excited. I hear it's crunchy. You have to hold the <laughs> microphone up enough so we can hear the crunch? Okay. Oh, oh wait well, said it's French for new castle. Ooh. Does that make it a beer? That is really good. I'm a sucker <laughs> for toffee. I love toffee. That's very good. It's crunchy. <laughs> it's crunchy. Okay. Like Val, I need to mull it over. Fair enough. But that's very good. That's a tough one. Ow, it's so <laughs> hard to decide. <laughs> and next, at the judging table. Who wants to go next? All right. And Tell you are, and why are you, you are. why are you qualified? So I'm uh, I'm Sabrina Larada. I am the social media coordinator here at MSU Denver. She's also awesome. and um, yeah, I pretty much I think I prepared my whole life for this um, <laughs> for this exact moment. I uh, watched the Great British Bake Off, and so you know I picked up some tips and tricks from Paul Hollywood in Peru. So 
I think I'm uh, All right. Wow, now I'm a little nervous, but yeah, All she's right. pretty qualified. So I will. And Paul Hollywood's watching, right? Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, I okay. invited him. All right, so perfect. He, he totally is. Yep, make sure you tag him. All right. I will start with the cheesecake. Well, she's starting with cheesecake. Everyone starts with the cheesecake. It's because it's on the right. The mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very, very dense and creamy. If it were actually cream cheese, it would be denser. Because oh. this cheese is from the 6th century France. Mm-hmm. So it stands oh, okay. for Newcastle. This I is, like the beer. Yeah, okay. that is new well, information for me. Speaking of beer, Dean Hardigree, I'm kind of surprised that your dessert had no you know, libation. We have Southwest a, eggnog, some sort of a. I can imagine a whiskey of some sort of infused in this. Well, if I'd been able to make the Oreo crust the way I do, I would have drowned it in some type of probably a burnt sugar bourbon, right? And silly, but somebody didn't want me licking all the crust. All right, I will now try Janine's toffee. She broke a tooth. <laughs> I know it's pretty, it's pretty crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No voting yet. We have more people. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I just want to note that uh, on Facebook, Jason Rice called out there that toffee is his favorite holiday candy, especially because it has chocolate and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this is because of our previous judging on the biscuits. Oh, he's trying, oh, to, make, you he's trying to make up for it, huh? Pandering. He's trying to make up for it. Well, you All right, know. who do we have next? Katie? I'm going to come taste what you got. Yeah, you're going to come, come taste. Come, come on. on. Come on up That's here. super fun. Come on down in the ugly sweater of MSU Denver, which actually I think it's is not ugly. Sweater, I like it. We, should, we need to do these again. We need to. Oh, All right. Can you introduce yourself opera? a little bit? I'm Katie Strain. I'm a beer professor in School of Hospitality, and I run the lab. Whoop, whoop. So, yeah. oh, I like your hat, okay. too. I like your sweater. Thank you. I know. I'm just... All right. Um... Now, Katie actually has a palate. So <laughs> she, she does this for a living. She All right. tastes, she tastes things, things all oh, the I time. I wish I tasted Very good things point. for you're a living. John, you're going to do it, too, right? So this That's is made really with Nufa shell. It's from the <laughs> sixth, I heard. From the sixth century. Is there a quiz? <laughs> I'm ready for Wait, it. As you know, as an educator, we have to repeat things That's in true. order to state the obvious. Yep, yep, yep. Keep it going. You got to do it. Um, really good. Nice acidity with the creaminess and everything. It's just good balance. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice, okay. nice acidity. Now, this has a lovely crunch. <laughs> Oh, that's a good crunch. Oh. Good crunch. It's a good level of crunch because it's crunchy, but it's not like crack your tooth crunchy. No, nope. it's, it's, well, it's not. Mm-hmm. It'd be thicker than that would be, but. No, no, I think it's wonderful. The both of them are really good. You're, You're still, still gonna have to vote too. later. I know. Okay. I know. She's on it. Uh huh. She's so cute because she's like, I don't really. I just want to. Eat. I know. I just thought I could come eat. And <laughs> People made me be on. John. All right. Thank you. Be on the oh. web where. Five or eight people might be watching. We have a very robust audience. <laughs> All right, John, can you tell us a little, a little bit about yourself, who you are, and why you're qualified for this judging? First of all, I love that John has to talk into a microphone because usually he's <laughs> micing up everybody else. Yeah, let me, let me put this I'm, on you. Can you, you, Did you hide the cord? Hide the, hide oh, you hide the cord. Oh, oh, sorry, John. Sorry. All right. <laughs> what should I do first? That's your choice. For God's sakes, not the cheesecake. Let me get the toffee first. That's good. Toffee first. I agree. It's crunchy, but not breaking any teeth. Excellent. Excellent. Ooh, hi. Hi, praise. (laughs) 
This is good too. Cream. <laughs> Where did you, where's this cheese from? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's from the 6th century in France. It's a very old cheese. It stands for Newcastle. Kind of like the beer. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a tough decision. All right. All right, last one. On down. Sarah, come on in here and tell us Dang, a little you bit want about yourself. An Oreo? No, I already had an Okay, Oreo. perfect. I don't want one that's uh, got Hello, your I'm Sarah Hunsinger. I am the social media strategist here at the university um, and for President Davidson as well. Um, I like Sabrina, feel like I've prepared my whole life for this. Um, I also love the Great British Bake Off, but I've been baking and cooking since I was 17. So, yeah. You're ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do I have to you hold? Can you can you can okay. Just going for the toffee first, folks. She won't even put it down. She's holding it. I am. Well, I figure I could put both. There you go. Almost plates. So I'm I not sure they're supposed to be on the same plate. Back and forth, you know. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> I have children. I have quite a few hats. Also very good. Also very, very good. Do you like the texture? It's a special cheese. <laughs> Wait, did you say cheese? It's from the 6th century in France. Wait, here, are you lactose like intolerant? Here, no. here, here. <laughs> oh, oh look you. at you. Thank you. Look. Um, I get, please hold. I think the last two should be the two of us. Oh, yeah. I got to try it. Oh, Maddie, can true. you grab a I think a you should fork? taste each other. All right. I guess just my arm. I got to eat cheesecake. This job is so hard. <laughs> so next time you're in the office, people would be like, what are you doing, eating cheesecake? I, you know, we got this hospitality program, and I just get to go over there and eat food. Now, are you supposed right. to be able to eat this with a fork? Nope. But you oh. can probably do that if you want. Let's we'll see this in my hand. Yes. <laughs> I, might pay so to I, wanna, I wanna make sure that I get some Wait, of this Oreo. Wait, little tiny I'll make sure bite? Because I'm trying to make sure I get some of this Oreo crust in first bite. That's the one I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that that one we pulled out of the fridge. This is French. Creamy solid. You know that's well cheese from France. It's really? It's century. It's from It's that old? It is. It's a, it's, it's, Will it's, it hurt me? It's blue cheese. It's Will it make me sick? It's that old? This is really good. I say yes to this. Well done, sister. Well done. However, it's still a competition. <laughs> All right, let's come back up one by one and cast your vote. So Val, you were first. Can I go last since I started first? Oh, okay, touche, touche. We'll go backwards. We're going to go backwards. Uh, you don't want us to leave? All of our bosses, can you step away from them in the camera as they vote? really good. All right, Sarah, you were last. Last, you go first. Come cast your vote. All right, we got one for the toffee over here. Who was? <laughs> Katie? Katie? Katie, unlike President Davidson, you can have your Just job regardless of your vote. And they still have their job, don't worry. Uh, I'm also voting for the toffee because that's just, it's the closest to my favorite beer, which is a nice caramely malty lager. Wow, that would have been a good pairing. If, yeah. You're actually right about rock. that. Yeah. Next time. Well, now maybe you are. Fine. All right. So what that's. About a, what about a, that's what about two a votes. stout pairing with that? Too much. Ooh. Oh, that's too much. Okay. Yeah. What if you crumbled it up? Yeah. And used it as a rim on a chocolate martini. What if you crumbled it up and put it on top of that cheese? Oh. Oh. Ding 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 ding. Now we're talking. Hold on. But I will <laughs> say, that cheesecake was dynamite, and 
I would order that at a restaurant any day of the week. Yeah. It doesn't crumble very often. Well. It's because it's not that cold. Get her chopper. Yeah, you my chopper. <laughs> Jason, I'll clean this, I promise. Jason, he's not going to clean that, he promises. I'm going to forget it over there. <laughs> All right, anyways, next up, uh, Maddie. Or Sabrina. Now serving. All right. Cast so, your vote. It's a very tough decision. Both were very good desserts, but I am going to have to vote for the toffee. Oh, three. It's just, uh, it was a, you know, the initial crunch wasn't too bad, but then once you start chewing on it, it just wasn't, it just kind of melted in your mouth really perfectly. And just the, the ratio of chocolate to toffee was perfect. Um, and yes, I would, I would eat that every single day. Wow. If I could. <laughs> And the cheesecake was also amazing. I would order it at a restaurant oh, at good. the Cheesecake Factory. At the Cheesecake yeah. Factory? I have Some a job good if cheesecake. Janine fires me. Oh, good. There All you right. go. Nice there, to know. You'll work at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> um, but yes, Jimmy, you should try the combo. It was brilliant. You should do that. Jimmy's making a Frankenstein dessert there. <laughs> All right. Don't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> so I... I would order this, but I would make the cheesecake. Like, Why? Mm. looks too hard. I that cleanup scares me a little bit. No, it's easy. You just boil the stuff until <laughs> it's easy. You, let you just let do Jimmy it. do it. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Um, but I think I'm gonna. I don't. I'm such a sucker for toffee. I love toffee. But I would piece. make the cheesecake you can have with the piece. fancy cheese. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited for whatever. Yeah, did you this know is about that that cheese is from France, <laughs> from the sixth century? Hey, what if you made that recipe with cream cheese? How much different would it taste? Actually, it, it, it's heavier. I don't think it's as creamy. Yeah. I do like the texture the, better. The, the Newf, Newfin whatever Normandy cheese is, uh, is a little bit lighter. It is. It, yeah. it really is. In fact, I think I like it does matter. Yeah, because I've made a cheesecake before, but I haven't made a Newfin I think it matters. Cheese, it makes the, century the texture better. <laughs> I, I, I do too. Um, and actually, because it's so hard to find Oreo cookie crust, they now have a grasshopper crust that's out. So I haven't made it yet, but I got all the ingredients to make a mint. No way. I say no to any mint chocolate mint. No. Well, you heard it here first. On grasshopper Rome mint kitchen. on this cheesecake would be an abomination. I'm with her on this. We had this discussion earlier. I, I would put Andy's chocolate in it, not the white chocolate, but I'm just, you, you know. could, you could do it, but you couldn't have the raspberry. No, about, no, no, no. What about no. the rest of your children's chocolate? Just Andy's? Uh. <laughs> My child is named Andy. Um, my vote is for the cheesecake. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I thought Falcon. it was really good. It was really creamy. You sure didn't want to try the toffee one more time. And I'm not that big sure of a fan of just toffee. One more time, just to see. If you... God, somebody's I'm pandering. I'm not that big of a fan. <laughs> so I, I thought your cheesecake was really good. It was really Thank creamy. You. Thank you. Very and much. I'm a sucker for cheesecakes. All right. Valid family one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so John just is right, John. Voted. Did John pick? Oh, John hasn't voted yet. Sorry, I skipped you. Just try to stay behind the camera. I don't know. So, I think this is a hard decision. I will say that. But I'm going to go with number one in the cheesecake category. And number one in the top. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with toffee. You going with the toffee? I'm wow. Going with the toffee. This, this, this was tight. You know, you're good about, very you're, you're right about the categories. I, um, one time I was working at this, I had this job and we had a Christmas party and it was a, a, a cookie contest. And so everybody bought, you know, their different kinds of cookies. And I, of course, bought toffee. And of course I won. But the guy that got second place was so pissed. He was like, I mean, this is like an office Christmas party. He's like, that's not a cookie. <laughs> I mean, my boss was just cracking up. He was just like, you guys need to work this out. He was pissed for like a year about that. No, he, so he's he, probably still pissed. Matter. So when we set this up as a dessert category, yeah. like if you're saying. Well, this is why I, we I said holiday treat. Yeah, I don't have a toffee recipe, so yeah, or a candy of other kinds. No, I don't you know, really. We it's had her recipe though. You could have just. My toffee and my brother's fudge. <laughs> my brother makes some wicked fudge. 
Oh, which I just found out. I, I love tiger butter. It's like a peanut butter, white chocolate fudge. It's like the best thing in the world. And I've loved it my entire life. And I didn't realize how easy it was to make. It's literally three ingredients. You melt white chocolate, you put peanut butter in it, you let it cool, and then you melt dark chocolate and drizzle it on it, and that's it. Sounds like, like Jimmy's bringing some in next week. Is it so easy? Yeah. It sounds like yeah, for our holiday party. It still sounds like easier to buy out of the jar. Sounds like something Charlie Well, you got to go to like the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory or something. So I'm going to try this since I judged the last competition and uh, Jason and I never heard about Never heard of that? Well, no, we uh, never stopped hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, true. So this is the combination of the two. Yeah, when there's free food in the building, those of you who pick the toffee, please don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> Val's like, what for me? <laughs> I'm a sucker for cheesecake. It's my favorite thing next to tiger butter i guess um but with the toffee it's this is a pretty good combination good combo we'll uh, mix them up for everybody else to taste too but all right all right so well so you i believe that. that's five well you heard that christian yes i did we're a good combo we're a good combo mm -hmm. <laughs> and for the bragging rights mm. the whip it whip is this it the good award? award tea towel the award this is a major award fragile <laughs> major award. Major. I, get it. I expect to see it when I come to your house because you. I'm going to I steal it back. It. I love it. Thank you, honey. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and all thank right. you to Thanks. everybody yes. on Rogue Kitchen, Jimmy, Jason, all of our wonderful crew, tasters, the camera crew, media. the social media crew, the tasters, the judges. I personally, and the elves that are going to clean all this mess. The elves that are going to clean it up. I, I personally am going to pitch in on the cleaning up. I will take care of the beverage station. <laughs> all right. We'll all pitch in on the cleaning up. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe and stay rowdy. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs>